Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I just found a really interesting article on the internet uh, based on Christian religion, obviously, because that's something I've grown up with, and I think it's interesting to share it with you, and you might have a bit of a laugh. Otherwise, you may change your religious beliefs and, um, yeah, be a normal human sane person. Um, yeah, so this person was writing a letter and they said that there's a couple of verses that they wanted to uh, get clarification on. And, I mean, if I was her, I wouldn't have hesitated. I would have asked the same thing. Okay, here we go. So, Leviticus 25.44 states that I may possess slaves, both male and female, provided they are purchased from neighboring nations. A friend of mine claims that this applies to Mexicans, but not Canadians. Can you clarify? Why can't I own Canadians? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's actually what it says, guys. Uh, so, yeah. I would like to sell my daughter into slavery, as sanctioned in Exodus 21, verse 7. In this day and age, what do you think would be a fair price for her? I mean, they're not wrong. I know what I'm allowed. What is it? I know that I'm allowed no contact with a woman while she is in her period of menstrual uncleanliness. Leviticus 15, verse 19 to 24. Problem is, how do I tell? I have tried asking, but most women take offense. <laughs> it's just too good. Next one. When I burn a bull on the altar as a sacrifice, I know it creates a pleasant a pleasing odor for the lord leviticus 1 9 the problem is my neighbors <laughs> they claim the odor is not pleasing to them should i smite them <laughs> it's so good oh my goodness i'm gonna cry okay i have a neighbor who insists on working on the sabbath by the way sabbath is saturday um exodus 35 verse 2 clearly states he should be put to death and my morally obligated to kill him myself or should I ask the police to do it yeah I don't know about that man I think I should probably just leave the religion and you should be all sweet a friend of mine feels that even though eating shellfish is an abomination by the way I'm actually allergic to shellfish so I don't eat shellfish Leviticus 11 verse 10 it is a lesser abomination than homosexuality I don't agree can you settle this are there degrees of abomination Interesting, because Christians would say otherwise, that all sins are equal under the Lord, even though there's actually no proof of that whatsoever. But you'll give different consequences to the equal sins. Go figure. Leviticus 21 to verse 20 states that I may not approach the altar of God if I have a defect in my sight. Sorry, blind people, you can't go to church. I have to admit that I wear reading glasses. Does my vision <laughs> have to be 2020, or is there some wiggle room here? Yep, that's what it says. Most of my male friends get their hair trimmed, including the hair around their temples. This will be interesting. Even though this is expressly forbidden by Leviticus 19.27, how should they die? <sighs> I was just thinking it's not really funny, but I don't think it's appropriate for the internet. Just think pies, and you might understand what I'm talking about. I know from Leviticus 11 verse 6 to 8 that touching the skin of a dead pig makes me unclean, but may I still play football if I wear gloves? <laughs> oh man, oh that's good. My uncle has a farm. He violates Leviticus 19 verse 19. Okay, let's see how and why. By planting two different crops in the same field. I've done that. I've put like, um, what is it? avocado plant in the same as as uh as basil am i in trouble um anyway let's keep reading as uh does his wife by wearing garments made of two different kinds of thread cotton polyester blend yeah christians you're not actually supposed to wear blends of fabric because it says there it's against the rules he also tends to curse and blaspheme a lot um it is really necessary that we go to all the trouble of getting the whole town together to stone him. Okay, Leviticus 24, verse 10 to 16. Couldn't we just burn them to death at a private family affair like we do with people who sleep with their in-laws? Leviticus 20, verse 14. I know you have studied these things extensively and thus enjoy considering expertise in such matters, so I'm com confident... I am... Confident you can help. Thank you again for reminding us that God's word is eternal and unchanging. Your devoted disciple and adoring fan. Wow, that is great. 
I might put the actual website in the description so you guys can read it for yourselves and share it with all your Christian friends. Or if you are a Christian, you should probably pay attention to reading your scriptures before you look on the internet. Or go to church and listen to your preacher. Who does not preach this? Who should be? Because it says so in scripture that you should be preaching all of the entire book, not just the parts that you like. So yeah, that's just something humorous that I thought to share with you because, you know, why not?